people who don't know much about science standing in denial of it and rising to power that is a recipe for the complete dismantling of our informed democracy let us demand that educators around america teach evolution not as fact but it's theory. Increasing number of parents showing skepticism about vaccinations. Voters have approved a ban on GMOs. Call climate change unproven science. That's not the country I remember growing up in. Not that we didn't have challenges. I'm old enough to remember the 60s and the 70s. We had a hot war and a cold war, the civil rights movement, and all this was going on. But I don't remember any time where people were standing in denial of what science was. One of the great things about science is that it is an entire exercise in finding what is true. The hypothesis, you test it. I get a result. A rival of mine double checks it because they think I might be wrong. They perform an even better experiment than I did and they find out, hey, this experiment matches. Oh my gosh, we're onto something here. And out of this rises a new emergent truth. It does it better than anything else we have ever come up with as human beings. This is science. It's not something to toy with. It's not something to say, I choose not to believe e equals MC squared. You don't have that option. When you have an established scientific emergent truth, it is true whether or not you believe in it. And the sooner you understand that, the faster we can get on with the political conversations about how to solve the problems that face us. As a professor of science, I assure you that we did, in fact, evolve from filthy monkey men. I cannot speak for you, sir, but my ancestors were not monkeys. They were orangutans, hard-working, patriotic orangutans. Dr. Banjo? In the fur. And I remind you that evolution is merely a theory, like gravity or the shape of the Earth. Hey, professor, I'm a flying spaghetti monster. You seriously believe I'm descended from some kind of flightless manicotti? Yes! If your elitist East Coast evolution is real, why has no one found the missing link between modern humans and ancient apes? We did find it. It's called Homo erectus. Then you have proven my case, sir. For no one has found the link between apes and this Homo erectus. Yes, they have. It's called Homo habilis. Aha! Uh -huh. But no one has found the missing link between ape and the so-called Homo habilis. Yes, they have! It's called Australopithecus africanus! Oh, I've got you now! 
All life was created in its present form 7,000 years ago by a fantastical creature from outer space! My mom, she is a Cylon. My dad, a freaking baboon. Digital photographs don't lie. I admit that what you witnessed may have been some form of evolution. And I admit it's possible, however unlikely, that some wise and all-knowing alien monster set evolution in motion here on Earth. Oh, oh, and the creator could also be a robot. Oh, then who built this so-called creator robot? Some magical bearded robot in the sky? <laughs> <laughs>